All right, this is my attempt to make um, hard sugar out of just regular sugar. You just sort of dampen it and then you let it sit and then it hardens and you end up with large strips of nice hard sugar that you can just slip in under the, the top covers like, uh, like candy cakes or pollen patties. But um, I did this and just doing this, with just mixing it up, uh, put, adding a little bit of water, stirring it up in this bucket, dumping it in here and then waiting for it to harden. That already is more work than I want to do, and so I shifted to uh, to my normal method of just pouring the the dry sugar into the hive uh, over the um, over newspaper, and it works. And uh, let's cut to that right now. All right, we're gonna put some uh, we're gonna put some dry sugar in this hive today <clears throat> because I was listening with the stethoscope and I could hear the the cluster has been moving up, so I think. Uh, the cluster is moving up in this one and this one, and uh, let's go take a look and see if the cluster is moving up. Come on in, take a look. We'll take a quick peek and we'll see where the cluster is. Oh yeah, you can see just starting to crack the top bars. So, uh, so I was right. The old stethoscope did not fail me. Um, it's not a. I don't know how big this colony is. I don't think it's actually very big. I'm looking at that cluster and it's not huge. So, anyhow. There's a chance it might not make it, but we'll see. Because it was started like late in August, basically. Uh, <clears throat> so, what I'll do here... It's a warm day, so I'm not releasing too much heat. But it's not a big cluster there. It's... Oh, yeah, it's about the size of my head. That's very... That's not, <laughs> that's not big at all. I don't have a big head, I guess. And I'm just going to pour the sugar... Right on top. And there should be enough moisture inside the hive that the sugar will harden on its own and the bees will be able to eat it up. And I'll just uh, pat it down. So this, this is a nice, nice mild day, good day to do this. Um, so by the size of that cluster, it's like a the size of a human head. Uh, it's not very big and so there's a chance they might not make it. But basically the, the queen has to get over the hump. If she can survive the next you know month I guess and once we get past the the winter solstice the days can start getting longer and the queen may start laying more eggs and if they can get over that hump they'll be alright. So that's it. I'll just leave them that sugar there for a little while. <coughs> And right now it's just regular granulated sugar, but um, it will eventually harden. And you see one bee is already starting to come up, but they'll 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 chew through that that uh, through that newspaper and get up to the sugar once they're hungry enough. <clears throat> That's it. We got the moisture quilt on top, and uh, that that colony is a bit itchy. I don't know if they're gonna make. It. <clears throat> And the same deal with this one over here. <coughs> now you can hear these bees are more active, so I don't know if I'm going to do this without protection, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. This will be quick. If they start going in my face, I'll just, uh, I will leave. There we go. <coughs> now I will gently put this on top of them. They don't like it. But they'll get out of the way once I just slowly put the sugar on it so that it'll just, it won't squish any bees. And in a second they're going to start pouring, if they're in a bad mood, they'll come right up over this sugar and say, Hey man, I'm living here. <laughs> <clears throat> this container is, holds about two liters of, sh of sugar, whatever two liters is. I think I would, I'd rather have it so that the sugar was sort of on the sides of the, of the cluster, so they could come right up in the middle of it, because yeah. sometimes they'll come up over the sides and stuff, but, oh, here comes one right now. Now right now this is, the sugar is really dry, but again, it, 
if it is if it stays dry I can just put some spray in there and moisten it down a bit so they're coming up checking it out eventually they'll see the sugar up here and they'll be like, all right man cool don't need now that one isn't as bad as the other one it, it uh, but again I think I don't know how many I don't know how well my hives are going to do this year I can use a few it's that way every year all right, let's just take a look at this one just for kicks. <clears throat> All right, I'll do this one too. This this colony is huge and it's got lots of lots of honey, so I don't think they need any sugar. All right, you can get the camera down there and you might be able to see this cluster, but I don't think you will. Uh, there's not much of anything. No, they're. Were they down further? Yeah, really deep down. Okay. So they. Wait, but if you bees. listen. You can hear there's a huge roar. A lot of bees down there. Oh yeah, I hear it. So why do you have three deeps? Because um, they, they're just a big colony. A lot of bees. Uh, um, but why on all three hives? Um, because I uh, fed them over the summer. I gave them lots of sugar syrup. And I just wanted to make sure that they... I kind of overfed them sugar syrup. And so I just wanted to give them room to store the sugar syrup instead of keeping the honey, the queen honey bound. At least that's the answer I'm going with right now. <laughs> Good. Whoop. So these guys, they don't need sugar. And this this amount of sugar, which is hardly anything, if they were really hungry, they would eat through that. Like, I've seen them eat through this much sugar in a week or two. Uh, and by In February and March, when they're really, sometimes when they're starving. So when will you come out to do this again? <clears throat> I don't know. I'll just take a look and... See if they see when they start eating the sugar. But I'm not too worried about this colony. It's just so massive and big, mm -hmm. and they've got they they made lots of honey. So <clears throat> I got enough paper to do one more hive, so I might as well do one more. And there's a little more <clears throat> moisture quilt on top. Chicken, chicken out the hives. Chicken. Yeah, I don't know how big they are. They're way down deep mm. though. Mm, smells good. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> it's it's hay related, my coughing. Uh -oh. <laughs> hay related wet respiratory problems. So these ones, again, they're really deep in the hive, which usually means they've got a lot of honey deep down, and so they're not really hungry. But if I keep this sugar in here for the next couple months, uh, by the time they get hungry for it, it should nice it should be nice and solid and uh, easy to eat. It'd be just like almost it won't be like hard candy, but it'd be easier to digest than hard candy. Do do do. That's it. If I had more sh more paper, I'd do the other one too. Take a, take a look. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to remove the moisture quilt. This is a, a well-established colony and you can hear them down there. But you can't see them so they're, they're pretty deep down. So they, they don't really need this. They have plenty of honey. So if they ever rise up and get starving for honey, they're going to find a big load of sugar on top. <laughs> Keep them going. <clears throat> this is dirt. Drop this honey on the ground. <laughs> That's a leaf or something. So, and this probably isn't, the, this might not be the best way to do this. Oh well. <laughs> now, like again, this will be, um, by the time they come to the top of this hive, if they run out of honey, in a couple months or a month or two, this sugar will have hardened by then. So it'll be just solid chunks that I, I'll be able to cut it up and move it around if I want to, if I want to shift it over this way or that way. But right now, they're way down there. They're not starving. They're not bothering anybody. And the sugar will uh, we'll just sit there and get hard. And 
any moisture that goes rises up through the hive will, will come up through the sides here. This is why I don't like this. I'm thinking it would be better to have a, a hole in the center, but anyway, because that's where the heat comes up. But anyway, the, the moisture will rise up through the sides and go through this moisture quilt. <clears throat> and it'll go through these chips, the condensation that is, and it'll it'll condense on the top of this top cover and it'll drip down into the uh, the wood chips and the ventilation holes will allow the uh, moisture on top of the of the that has dripped down over the chips to uh, leave the hive, and so you end up with nice, dry, cozy bees all winter long. That's it.